my favourite art materials is a pencil. Now, not just an ordinary black pencil, a white pencil. Now, look at these pictures that I've done with a white pencil on coloured paper, and you get this really good effect, sort of like a photo negative, isn't it? Now, you'll also need a pencil sharpener for this as you get a better, crisper picture if you keep your white pencil nice and sharp. Now, dark papers or strong coloured papers work best for this. I'm just going to use a red paper, and the idea is to just draw normally as you would with a normal dark pencil. Draw anything you like. Just nice, clean lines. Any idea what it is? <laughs> I should give it away. Just a bit down there. It's very important to keep your pencil nice and sharp. And a beard and moustache there. And yes, you've got it. Santa Claus. Just do some buildings down there for him to fly over. Like that. And just dot in some stars. And don't forget Rudolph's antlers. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to shading in the dark bits, don't. Instead, use your white pencil to light in the light bits. Now, the hatching technique works best for this. Just hatch in the areas where you want the light to be. With these wispy lines, good technique, this. And just leave those dark areas blank. Now, the light is coming from up here, the moon. And so, just pick out all the edges facing the moon to hatch in the highlights, like that. And of course, Santa's beard is light. And just remember, the idea is to do all the edges that the light is hitting. Now, if, like me, sometimes your hatching gets a bit scruffy, a bit untidy, just neaten it up by hatching the other way. Now, it may take a bit of time to do this, but it really is a lovely technique, and it's very pleasing to do. And if you want some really light bits, just press a little bit harder with your white pencil, and you get a nice bright white. And just add a final little bit of magic, I think. And there it is, a white pencil picture. It's a sort of negative picture. It looks a bit like an old-fashioned print, doesn't it? Try it yourself. Use a white pencil and coloured paper to do a white pencil picture. Oh, now that is what I call a right good art attack. Using a white pencil on coloured paper to create a truly individual piece of art. Eh? I had a go on holiday last year, and I spent an entire morning sketching the wonderful view from my motel window. Eh? Do you want to see it? <laughs> it was the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Do you get it? Oh, oh, oh.